It was one of the, the major projects around the world which was newly built in terms of theatres and the technology which is in here in this house is really uh, amazing and outstanding. Uh, for instance, that's the second largest revolving stage in the world. The system here allows that in principle you can play at the front uh, in one part of the stage uh, and in the back or on the side there can be different things. There can be works done, there can be rehearsals. In principle what, what they have here is a system where they can have si up to six different plays in total somewhere in the stage area. So there is all the rehearsal, all the logistics is possible in the real life. Uh, not like in other theatres where you have a rehearsal stage or you have some, some other places where you have to store things. Here is a system where you really have all the things you need for a longer period of time available. You have the combination of all these technologies uh, with uh, rotary movements, with a station wagon system which moves in all directions across the whole stage. Doesn't matter in which position this stage is. You have the rotary elements, you have the, the lifting elements in there. Uh, so all this combination, this is new. And what really is also impressive is the number of controls you have to, to monitor here because you have also the upper stage. And with all that we have more than 120 upstairs uh, functions, 80 in the turning and, and moving part and then another 30 somewhere else. So around 230 controls which you have to combine in terms of logistics, in terms of safety, in terms of combinations. So that's the, the really big new innovation here. The big revolving stage, it can be turned and turned and turned and turned so there's no cable connection. There's a very detailed and very, very special part in the middle where all goes through, all signals, all uh, electricity, even big water pipes. And this was for instance one thing which was very difficult, very late in the project until it was fixed, which pipes go through this and how can we solve this technically. Now, this is really something which has never been done in that complexity we have here in this stage. You need to imagine there are 500 tons of steel moving when this thing is turning. There are 50 kilometers of cable in that and other, and other things which are really revolutionary. And the main challenge here was because there is a parking garage below, there is no space below. So it had to be very, very uh, low in terms of height. So there's a lot of engineering and innovation in the details which is not so visible from the outside. From the beginning the theatre people were involved, uh, at the very beginning then also through the project. There's for instance always the, the, the triangle I would say between the end users, the theatre people, the, the, the planners like the architects or, or the, the stage planners and then the construction company and all that where there is a clear definition what has been sold and what should be done and all. There's a lot of huge wishes which sometimes you cannot fulfill somewhere in that process. Nevertheless, I think we, we are, especially here, still in a very good uh, cooperation. We are, we are permanently supporting the people. Uh, there are constantly also things where they think, should we do something different? Should we change something, enhance something? So there's a permanent way of working together. Stage machinery, as I said, is a dangerous thing in principle. There are loads hanging over people playing on the stage. So there needs to be maintenance and, and, and checks and all that. And that's for sure also one of our businesses and uh, our, our support for the people here to make sure they are safe when they use the stage. We walk around and talk with the people and directly get the feedback. And uh, the feedback I got is that the people are very happy with what they've got in terms of possibilities, in terms of performance. Uh, things they can do now they've never been able to do before. Um, and yes, we are listening, we are actively listening. We're trying to do our best to have a satisfied customer. Um, and if there are new wishes and new ideas, we are always discussing, can we do that, can we solve that, um, is that somewhere a possible idea? So we, we want to be there and we don't want to leave the people after the project is finished. For me personally, the combination about te technology where I'm from and culture and, uh, and uh, creativity, that's something which, which for me is a very, very interesting combination. And when you're doing a project like that and then there's the premiere and you're sitting in there in the evening and hope that everything is working what you've done over the last couple of years and at the end everything goes well and everybody's happy, that's, that, there's a lot of emotion behind that. <laughs>